about 275 million stars, thy every day, and with them, thy planets, civilizations, and light. The same number of stars are born as well each day. Every star goes through its own, what can only be called, a life cycle, much like living beings. But of course, the time frame of the life cycle of a star is enormously greater than that of any life form. And that is a fact for which we should be thankful. Our Sun is currently a main sequence star, or in its prime time so to say. A time when it's giving out a tremendous amount of heat and energy. After around 5 billion years, our Sun will enter its red giant phase, which is a time when it will start expanding, till it becomes a red giant. At this point, the Sun will be around 200 times bigger and 2000 times brighter than it is right now. After that, about another 2.5 billion years later, the Sun will likely engulf Earth. So to see, the Sun has about 7 to 8 billion years left on it before it sputters out and dies. That's a long time. And we humans will most probably end up destroying ourselves before the Sun can do it for us. Or, who knows, by then maybe humanity will become a type 3 civilization and won't be dependent on the sun at all. After the sun successfully becomes a red giant, it will implode and collapse in on itself, which will transform it into a supernova. While our sun still has years to see before it reaches these judgment day phases, there's another star in our galaxy that is. Betelgeuse, Orion constellation's most famous member, and now a bright red supergiant star, is nearing the end of its life. It will likely explode as a supernova and be visible during the daytime from Earth in the future. A supernova hasn't been seen in our galaxy since the 17th century. While we do not know as of yet if it is a threat or not, Scientists have already discovered a telltale way to detect when a star is about to go supernova. This revolutionary new discovery, could help in developing an early warning system, before one of these massive cosmic explosions happen. Orbit. Beyond the blue. Simulated data in the study, showed what red supergiant stars would look like in the year before they go supernova. Such stars, swell in size before they turn into a supernova, and get dimmer and fainter. The simulations revealed that before this explosion occurs, a cocoon of circumstellar dust builds up around the star. This makes the stars become around 100 times fainter in visible light in their final few months before they die. The dimming may be caused by a sudden accumulation of material around the star, which obscures its light, though scientists aren't sure how this happens. So does the dimming of Betelgeuse mean it's about to explode? Because Betelgeuse is so close to our planet, when it explodes, and turns into a supernova, it will be bright enough to be visible during daytime for weeks. With that information, astronomers will be able to point other telescopes at the target to study the physical conditions of the star's atmosphere, as it prepares for the final countdown to its self-destruction. In 2020, Betelgeuse suddenly blew its top off and ejected a gigantic portion of its surface mass. No one in the world had seen anything like this, a sentiment which was shared by NASA as well. While solar flares are common, no doubt, this eruption was something much stronger. Our sun keeps throwing tantrums all the time. On October 2nd, 2022, the sun had emitted a strong solar flare. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, captured an image of the event. This flare was found to be an X1 flare. One of the most intense flares as we're heading towards the solar maximum, a time when solar flares are at their most frequent, strong, and potentially catastrophic if they hit Earth. You can find the link to our video which explains this solar flare in detail in the description. 
The Betelgeuse eruption however was a much more massive explosion. This particular ejection was 400 billion times the mass of an ordinary solar flare from our Sun. Scientists have stated that the unusually huge amount of ejection in Betelgeuse, surely is a phenomenon that needs more understanding, before they can give us any certain answers and arrive at conclusions. While we know that red giants burn through their fuel a lot quicker than yellow dwarfs like our sun, what is interesting is that the star had mysteriously dimmed all of a sudden. Astronomers around the world were perplexed as to why the phenomenon was taking place, but none had any explanations at the time. And it will be a while before we have any definitive answers about Betelgeuse. Some other supernovas we can aim to study are on two other red supergiant stars in the night sky. First is the Antares in the constellation Scorpius, about 555 light years distant, and the second is the Aldebaran in the constellation Taurus, about 65 light years away. For now though, we have another spectacle, which is quite the opposite of Betelgeuse's, unfolding right in front of our eyes, or rather, in front of Webb's eyes. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us some amazing pictures, and through its eyes, we have begun to unfold the universe like never before. While NASA is using the telescope to scan the skies, independent researchers are also doing science work with the help of Webb. And the most recent research image released is of a region that is producing stars at a stellar rate. Researchers using the James Webb Space Telescope, have taken an extraordinary picture of a strange galaxy. This galaxy, called NGC 1365 or the Great Barred Spiral Galaxy, has one of the highest star formation rates of any galaxy we've ever seen. At around 60 million light years from Earth, the galaxy was previously captured by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2020. But what we are all waiting for, is for Webb to turn its eyes towards the Trappist system and the Andromeda Galaxy. A habitable exoplanet with liquid water or artificial lights around it, will change our understanding of the universe forever. Maybe finally, we will come to know if we are truly alone, or learn that our universe is thriving with life, but what do I know? Orbit. Beyond the Blue.